See if number five. If it is possible for one to arrest early and at midnight, and uh, and to recite the tikkun chatzos, uh, it is the most meritorious, as it is stated in Eicha. Arise, cry, out at night, at the beginning of the watch shift, etc. So let's see. We have a few commentaries. So chatzos, tikkun chatzos, chatzos. It 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 means uh, uh, half. So it could be uh, uh, like noon, Jewish noon. I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm talking about Jewish noon, or a Jewish midnight. Right. So it does. So tikkun chatzos is a special prayer uh, about the destruction of the temple. Commentary. Since the night is a uh, appropriate time for the morning. So when that's when we mourn, as indicated by the verse uh, cited in the Kitzur, righteous Jews uh, arise in the midnight to recite the prayers over the destruction of the temple and ongoing exiles of the Jews. So there is a special text. These prayers are known as Tikkun Chatzos. Right? So, okay, so 18. I've heard about this prayer. I've, I've woken up many times at midnight, like accidentally. Uh -huh. And one night I woke up and I couldn't find this prayer anywhere. <laughs> I didn't know where it was. I wanted to say it. Tikkun Chatzos. Uh, uh, I my sitter. I know that. No, no, it's not in a sitter. I mean, uh, it's not for a simple people. Yeah, it's definitely it's not. It's not. But, but uh, I mean, I, I, I don't see. Uh, I would suggest that you don't do it. Oh, okay, there are yeah. many other things that are more obligatory than this. As they say, that this is for... Uh, Special uh, people, so let's let's oh, leave it. No. I I only thought I didn't wake up purposely to say it. Mm -hmm. I woke up because I just couldn't sleep. Usually, mm -hmm. it happens to me once in a while where I wake up literally right at the right on midnight mm -hmm. and I can't sleep, so exactly. I'll stay up and I'll study. Exactly. So mm -hmm. one night I woke up and I was like, I heard, I read about this tikkun hatzos. So I was like, mm -hmm. where can I find? I can't find it. It's out of my sitter. I looked mm -hmm. online. I couldn't find it anywhere. So I was like, this must be something. Mm -hmm. Not for me, so I just okay. didn't do it. <laughs> yes, yeah, I mean, the, the, the best you could, no, it's not the best. So if you study Torah, it's uh, actually is better. Mm -hmm. It's actually yeah, better than this. Okay. It's a uh, Torah house from everything. Okay, so uh, it says, Arise uh, and cry out at night, 18. Okay, okay so we we'll skip, it's like... Uh, Okay, the the Hebrew word "rina" uh, refers to the loud outcry. Call rina. So there is a shul in uh, in uh, in um, what is it in Jerusalem called Kol Rina. Okay, Kol is a voice of rina of uh, outcry. Um, usually, it's used to indicate great joy. So it's like a song, right? But uh, in uh, in the verse called um, cited by Kitzur, it refers to cry of the morning of destruction of the temple. See how we're not twenty five below alternative interpretation. Okay, so okay, so it says the beginning of the night, uh, nineteen. Uh, each night is divided in three watch shifts among the angels who sing the praises of Hashem. So it's uh like. First, it's it's uh, literally, right? The, so the 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 Jewish day is divided in two parts, day and night. So date is a day is uh, twelve hours, but seasonal hours, right? And night is twelve hours. So it, it depending on on a season, meaning in uh, um, during um, during the the what is it the, during the the winter. So the hours are shorter. So it's not it's not the sixty minutes. It's like forty five minutes. Whatever is it? It says in uh, in the calendar. Okay, continue. Nineteen. It was nineteen and seconds. These are practiced similar to that the Holy One, blessed be He, who laments over the destruction of the temple at that time. So Hashem laments, and we should lament. As it says uh, in the verse Yirmiyahu twenty five thirty, Hashem calls out on uh, on high. And from and from his holy dwelling, he raises his voice. So Hashem had to destroy the temple, and he's uh, feel sorry about the temple, of course. 
So it's not only us. He he feels sorry. So they say, of course, if he if he feels sorry when he does not need the temple. So needless to say, how we should supposed to feel sorry. Uh, the call um, he calls uh, out over the uh, destroyed pa palace, and he proclaims, "Woe to my children, for due to their sins I have destroyed my home." Right, and I have uh, burned my sanctuary, and how I have exiled, uh, I have exiled them exiled. among the nations. Exi uh, exiled them among exiled. the nations. Exiled. Yeah. So basically, so it says. Uh, so one of the things that you you probably saw many, many times uh, in Mishnah Brura, when Mishnah Brura says, because of our many sins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So we do this or that, uh, we, we uh, lax in this uh, absorption, so that absorption, we're not careful with this or that. So it's like one leads to another. As we said before, so um, a, re a reward for a, for a mitzvah is another mitzvah. I don't know if you've ever said that. Probably we did not. Mitzvah is it's another yeah, mitzvah. Yeah. Rabbi, you're wrong. Said it. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. Our, from, from our uh, Per, per keolos, right? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what does it mean? So, you you given a new new opportunity. It's like right. to, to to make more more spiritual uh, reward, right? right? And uh, um, and uh, when when somebody does uh, does a verat, so it's the sin. So the punishment for the sin is a, a next opportunity for an even bigger sin. That's uh, his uh, his punishment. So it's very it's not easy to break the cycle. So it's better not to go that direction at all. Right. If, however, it is not possible for him to raise at midnight, he should at least strive to arise before the first rays of dawn. Okay, so to, today is, uh, I mean, <laughs> in the winter is not that uh, difficult. So dawn is, uh, I think today, if I understand it correctly, I, actually, I don't It was six, uh, whatever, there was a before six. So it's a very simple to, to raise before the dawn. Wait, uh, dawn is before six? Today? I don't know. You, you want me to double check? I can double check. No, it's okay. It's okay. I have it on my app. Uh -huh. So the talus and feeling was today, uh, I think they say 623 uh, or whatever was it? For talus and feeling. Yes. Uh, but, but, but it's later. It's after dawn. So, yeah. it, I mean, it's proper time. It's not like... So it's right. proper time. So it's a little later. So it's like nuts, right? You're on nuts, I think. Yes. Nuts, nuts, you nuts. So yeah. So so dawn. Okay. So dawn today was uh, five forty-eight, and early stars and feeling was six uh, to twenty-two. Yeah. yeah. When, when they say nets, I, I think it's sunrise. Ah, uh, okay. And that's right. It's like seven seventeen. Yeah, seven seven seventeen. But but we we start like, you can do many things before that time. Right, you can do tefillin, shma, right. Yeah. You can't do tefillin before before dawn. Like actually, you, you actually, you can. Or you can't do the blessing of tefillin. Exactly, 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 right. exactly, exactly, yes. All right, so... Um, one second. Um, um, before the... So, as King David uh, of the Blessed Memory said in Tehillim 57.9, I will awake in the morning. So he awakens before the morning, right? Meaning, I, I will awaken in uh, the morning. The morning will not awaken me. That's amazing. Uh, same, same. Yeah, okay. I like that one. Yes. Uh, so, commentary number 20, Tanhuma, Besalachta, uh, chapter 10. Rather than being awakened by the light of the new day, I will arise while it is still night and uh, away and uh, await the morning. So basically, so these um, um, these people that that they're trying to to do like uh, um, the, 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 the the earliest prayers, like it's not easy. Like uh, it's it's easier to get up at the, at the specific time, certain time, all year around. Right. But for them, it's like changes. So it's not easy for for the body. That's uh, the the praise is better, right. bigger, right? So it's like especially like. Uh, when it's going closer to the winter, so like every day it's like uh, ten minutes, ten minutes, ten minutes, five minutes, 
a day. No, no, not five, no, like three minutes. So, but uh, end of the week, so next week it's ten minutes difference. So it switches a lot. Okay, continue. Obviously, the King David attached the significance of the rising before dawn, even though the ideal time to arise at midnight. Okay, so uh, the King David himself uh, did arise at midnight. Okay, continue with uh, Kitsu. And after the midnight as well, one uh, can recite Tikan Hatsos. Okay, commentary. So basically, not exactly at the midnight, but even after, whatever, whenever he woke up. Although the optimal time for Tikkun Hatsos is at midnight, but it, it cannot be said at midnight exactly because it uh, text takes, I don't know, like maybe 20 minutes. No, yeah, maybe yeah, so uh, it's not exact. So you, you arise, so, so it would be like around midnight, let's say. Uh -huh. And uh, when arising at the hour is not possible, it may be recited later at night. So I think even till the end of the night. 